to be open, you have to be strong enough to be open. Weakness does not allow us to open. Our weakness does not allow us to sustain openness. It's always constant challenge. It's exactly, exactly the same way. The view, the fundamental view of openness is like a democracy. So much incredible value, the whole, like, uh, the, this country is based on those principles, right? But clearly, incredible challenges, and obviously there are some very practical challenges, for sure. But do you go continuously trying to go through the same value and same principles of openness, or, you trying to, or is it better to shut down? These are all political challenges, right? Similar in life, in the teaching, is the same thing. If, even in one single person's life, you can say, well, you know, I'm, I'm so open, I, I believe in openness, I'm trying to open, I'm open to everybody, but people in relationship, people take advantage of channel openness. Vulner vulnerability, vulnerability or openness, people take challenges. When you open and you you feel like uh, people are taking advantage. And you feel like uh, people are hurting you, or trying to hurt you. And when, you, when that happens, what do you do? You, you, do you try to shut down, or do you try to continue to pursue openness? You're, trying to, you're still trying to hope, hold the view of openness, boundless view, or you're trying to, you should close down an individualistic view? We are challenged all the time in our life. But do you see the view, do you see the link between those very typical polit political climate situation and political behaviors and even the winning of the election, even, even your own family and even your own behavior as an individual, how you change your behavior, trying to, you're quite open, you face some difficulties and now you're shut down completely. You see those behaviors in a collective place, you see those behaviors in, in families, you see those behaviors in one single individuals. You see, if you look at yourself, probably you see it. Somebody hurt you, you shut down to the next person who is open. So how do you make link between that, this view that we, when we meditate, when we meditate like this morning, when we we're trying to open up our body, ch channels and chakras, allow the wind to flow through, allow to feel more clear, more open, more peaceful, um, uh, connect with the lineage and masters and connecting with each other and praying to understand that essence. And those, what we're trying to understand, those essence, what it has to do with the life we live. Is there a link? Is there any connection? If there's no connection, then it's something, something, something big time wrong. The reason why people not able to sustain through the teaching practices is because they, they don't feel the link, they don't understand the link there. In the end, they will live whatever life they have, even as a miserable, suffering, dark, they will live that life, then the, then the all the solution and the practices and the wisdom, whatever that is, because there's no link between those two. They will live the life they have, not live the life what they can have. Because there is no link. They they cannot they cannot they are not enough open to look for the link, interested for the link, pursuing for the link, making the link, experiencing connection, enjoying the fruition, enjoying sharing the result. They are not able to do the, any of those things. Then they have to just live the life simply what life provides them. That's the most familiar thing they have. They live every 24 hours, life they live. That's their familiar. Even if it's a painful, even if it's a suffering, even if it's a confusing, that's what they have. 
Familiar hell is better than unfamiliar heaven. Because there's, there's no connection between the heaven and the hell. There's no, one is not able to make the link there. <laughs> 